is. It ended already? Oh, we're ready, guys. Really? Yeah, yeah. I thought we weren't on until 10. Oh. Yeah. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Get the other acoustic in there. Oh, well, let's just uh, rehearse. <laughs> I mean, we've, we've rehearsed before on the air. I mean, you know, being on with Leon Redbone is like rehearsing. Is Leon done already? Oh, yeah. I thought he was doing an hour. No, no, no. Well, Wait, let me tell Facebook. He got in there early, and uh, he was rambunctious and eager to uh, please. And very much like uh, Courtney Coletti, you know, he does that kind of, he just, an automaton, except with soul. Oh, yeah. uh, can I ask you a question yeah. about something logistical? Something, mm. something logistical here, okay? You know that we have that CD that I gave you? Yes. Okay? In addition to that, we, we have planned to play five songs. Oh. Now, what we'd like to do in order to economize, if it's okay with you. Yes. Did I mention that Johnny's dance band is here? Yeah. Cool. Are we on the air? I don't know. <laughs> are we on the air? We are. Well, here's what I was going to ask you. I'll, I'll ask it anyway. Can okay. we do the second and third back-to-back -back and the fourth and fifth back-to-back? -back? Can we do that? Of the five songs. Well, why not? Just wanted to ask you. Hi. I'm in the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Well, let's start like we just like we just rehearsed. We're ready to go. Okay, ready? Yeah. And here it is. <laughs> On 88.5 XBN, <laughs> you've been waiting for it all night. After Leon Redbone, of course. Uh, he was great. We love Leon. He was, he was mm -hmm. sweet. Another New Hopian. New Hope. And also, you know, um, when, she, when, when Beryl was, be, long before she met Leon, she uh, was working on 18th Street, 18th Street, 19th Street, right where the orange delicatessen is. You may recognize it. Remember that. Do you know there's a, a phone booth there where years ago when Monty Python's troop came through the Philadelphia area, they decided to surprise all the people at WMMR by calling whoever was on the air. It could have been uh, Luke O'Reilly or Steve Martirano or I'm not sure who was on. They called them from the payphone <laughs> at, in front of the WR, the uh, r and w Delicatessen and started doing numbers, you know? You know, like the John Cleese things, where do I return my dead pigeon, you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, they, and they really got those guys. That was their first uh, entree into Philadelphia was, let's have some fun, let's call them from a payphone. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's what happened. I'm telling you some of the secrets, mm -hmm. secrets, radio secrets. Michael Tierson remembers that, I'm sure. And Steve Martirano, and maybe I don't know. I think uh, Pierre Robert wasn't uh, he wasn't born. There. He wasn't born then. Born then. <laughs> no, he was a young kid. Pete Roberts. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, let's do it officially. Ready? Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> for your listening pleasure, <laughs> for your total enjoyment, your physical well-being. <laughs> It's our pleasure to present Johnny's Dance Band, the 55th iteration, <laughs> <laughs> with all the new bells, dangles, and ninging, 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 making as much excitement and music as ever before, but doing it now for your pleasure and in advance of their big performance at Can It Flash. That's right. Friday yeah. night. Got all that? When is that? Friday night. Friday the, night. The twentieth. Jeez, I don't know if I can get be there in time. Well, anyway, so let's welcome them, Johnny's Dance Band. Here they are on eighty-eight five XPN. Don't, don't. Back in the early uh, years of this band, when we first met, Gene, you and I. You were gracious enough, because you liked what we were doing and thought it was wacky, to invite us to do a walk-on at the Philadelphia Folk Festival. This was in 1974. 
and you had us come on unannounced and unplanned to the main stage for a nighttime performance of this song. We had never played to anything but a small club before. So it was a thrill for us. We were doing it semi-acoustic the way we're doing now. Our drummer just stood up, danced, and played kazoo. Well, we chose this song tonight because of the holiday season. We don't know if it's a true story or not. We leave that up to the listener. We bring you now a song about a very famous couple. Two people who have had perhaps more influence upon the course of Western civilization than anyone else in the last 2,000 years. Talking to you tonight about a couple more famous than Bonnie and Clyde. Famouser than Napoleon and Josephine. Jan and Dean. I mean, Johnny's dancing, boom, boom, bunnies are proud. Proud, I said proud to bring to you tonight. The story of the only couple to ever pull off an immaculate conception. Mary and Joseph were sweethearts. Mary and Joseph were friends. But Mary and Joe were not lovers, no, no. And that's where our story begins. As a matter of fact, they were married, but destined for trouble because every night round about bedtime, Mary would not come across, said Joseph, my dear. What's the matter? Do I offend in some way? Said Mary. Oh, no. It's not that, Joe. I'm a virgin, and virgin I'll stay. Oy. Oy. Joseph, he started to drinking And soon staying out all night long Though he drank up the groceries Mary, she started putting on weight before long No fool our boy Joe, he said Mary? Who's the other guy in your life? Ah! There's no other man. I've been true, Joe. Uh. It was God, and the kid will be Christ. Right! That's when Joe started on hard stuff Ignoring his job and his calls They soon found themselves in the poorhouse Riding donkeys and sleeping in stalls Midst rubble and odor of oxen Mary's baby was born in the hay. Hey, the most 
unsanitary conditions that a babe's been born in till this day. Staccato! Mary and Joseph were sweethearts. Mary and Joseph were friends. Mary still swore it was the Lord's work. Instead of confessing our sins oh, 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 oh. Now don't take this story too lightly, friends, because it had some serious repercussions. Although Joseph knew his hey. wife Mary very well and thinking she was probably lying, millions of people across the nation, across the world, believe her impossible story, as people often will. Why, they even created an entire religion based on it. And to this day, to this very day, the old wise men say that if you look up in the sky on Christmas Eve, you'll see a very bright star. Well, that's Mary's kid star, I'm here to tell you. And I'm here to tell you that if you believe, believe. and if you pray every night, you'll hear that heavenly host of angels singing his song. I said, singing it across the sky. Oh, glory to God in the highest. Wednesday night, bingo. Now, are you going to tell me that you actually did that in 1974? Yeah. In front of a full audience of the Philadelphia Ten, Folk Festival? 10,000 people standing ovation. <laughs> and nobody was offended? They never no, said nobody said, me. never sent any mail, no, no. no angry words. No. As a matter of fact, over the years, one of the biggest fans of that song was a good buddy of mine who was a Catholic priest. Hmm. He, he loved it. Well, it does have its <laughs> moments, <laughs> I must say. <laughs> really. <laughs> no, no, and you do it well, and, uh, you know, you've had a lot of rehearsal. Good, good rehearsal time. Thank you. Thank you. And good time to develop voices. You know what I mean? Yes. Ah, Johnny's dance band. What a, what a blessing to have them. Not only making music actively like they used to, but to uh, have them making it currently in different area clubs. Thank you. Like the Kenneth Flash. Where they're going to be on Friday night, right? Friday night. Yeah. That's, That's great. December 20th. And if people want to get tickets... Um, all they have to do is go to the KennethFlash.org website, and you can buy those tickets right online. Fifteen bucks. Mm. And we're going to have a great opening act, by the way, a local Westchester guy named Mojo Stew. Mojo plays very great blues on the uh, bottleneck dobro and uh, resonator guitar. Really? Uh -huh. Plays with conviction. The guy's terrific. Westchester mm. native. Mojo Stu. So he'll be our opening act. It's going to be a great night of music. You guys are really moving. Where else are you going to be in the next month or so? Uh, January 11th, Steel City Coffee House in Phoenixville, which we've uh, played at before. So this will be a return engagement there. Coming back to Puck eventually? Coming back to Puck in, in March. 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 Mm -hmm. And we have a gig coming up that's, is it confirmed yet or no. not? We don't, we don't know about we it yet. Know. Hopefully it'll be confirmed. Yeah. A gig at the uh, Bucks County Playhouse. Oh, well, that's nice. That's right around the corner from where you are. Yeah, la right. last weekend in January, part of the New Hope uh, Winterfest. Winterfest. And that's going to be either Saturday the 24th or Sunday the 25th. They're not sure Sundays. which day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jim Webb is doing the Friday night. Do they still have the ducks in that uh, pond? Sure. Right? I mean, uh, they're part of the... Uh, I party. think so. I think part so. Of, part of the <laughs> decor, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, they... they, they, they uh, you know, there's a union with the Ducks, and they split their time equally between Yardley and New Hope. Oh, really? Yes. Because, you know, right there at Afton, Af whatever, Afton Pond or something right there off, right there in the middle of Yardley, there's always Ducks there when I go there. No kidding. But 
Sometimes it looks like they're the same ducks. I'm just wondering if they're going back and forth. They could forth. change their um, duck outfits. They don't change, seem to no? bother. They just no? call them duck fits. Yeah, duck really? fits. Yeah. Duck fits. Yeah. And I missed one on uh, March 1st at Chaplin's in Spring City. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it dropped something. I couldn't figure out which one it was. Yeah. Now, what is it? Isn't there a story about Chaplin's? Has it has nothing to do with Charlie Chaplin? Actually, he played there. It used to be a small vaudevillian theater, and Buster Keaton played there as well. So you're, you're putting me on. I am not putting you on. They put some money into. I mean, I've been there once, and I seem to remember it being minute, really small. Very small. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. How many folks does it hold, Tom? About a hundred nice. people. Standing, That's a nice standing club. room only. Yeah. <laughs> they have a little balcony. It's they lie cool. down, people crush themselves. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real, real cute. mess. Real mess. They have an, yeah, a really nice stage cuts. and sound system and lights. It's great. <laughs> uh huh. Very, very professional. Mm -hmm. You play all the great places. Yeah. Well, we're it's we're fussy. Well, first of all, they're close to home, right? I mean, well, you, you guys live near there. Within a short distance. Yeah. Yeah. You know. The other yeah. thing is, it's so nice. You know, the, the, it's nice to, that we still have clubs in this region that cater to like coming in, sitting down, and seeing a show. You know, you just reminded me, Courtney, that there was a time when I used to run into Courtney Coletti crossing uh, what is the main street there? Mechanic? Oh, me, oh, you mean like New in New Hope? Yeah, New Hope. What yeah, is like so, there was South Main Street and Mechanic Street. Yeah. Mechanic Street. Right. I would I would cross the street and there. Was, <laughs> Courtney was crossing the same. Hey, Jay, how hey? How, how, we never got a chance to say a whole word, you know. Once. <laughs> but we go, hey, who? <laughs> you know, and we we were passing along cordialities, I guess, yeah. or something like that. Well, I always but, enjoy seeing you. Oh, I know, but that was fun. It, it was, was fun. I used to live outside of New Hope. I used to live about four miles south of town on River Road. Mm. So, in those days. Yeah, River Road, boy. The place really hasn't changed at all, has it? Oh, it has. It has? Well, I mean, I miss all those changes because I'm not there that often. I don't go there as much as I used to either. I used to be there so, so it was, for a long time, it was part of what I was, you know, it was my home. Sure. And then things changed, and okay, now now I don't live there anymore, so I don't get there as much as I used to. Mm -hmm. Speaking of New Hope, this next song has a little story in the middle of it that relates to New Hope. And... Uh, well, pray tell. Did you bring your kazoo or your? I did, but it's with you? my my kazoo is in my case, and oh. for that I'm going to have to get Ian. Where's Ian? Yeah. Well, if Ian's within earshot, please get Gene's kazoo so he can jam it's with in us. The, it's in that black case that's behind where Jessica is sitting there. If you don't mind, it. I mean, it's hard to miss a blue kazoo. <laughs> and we, Although. I, I also have a blue one. So we're oh, bro terrific. We're brothers. <laughs> it's hard to miss a blue kazoo <laughs> Especially when it's one you love so true <laughs> You blow it, you Don't hum you it <laughs> You strum it and you zum it occasionally But it's so hard it's a blue kazoo. <laughs> cha cha cha. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Only Johnny's dance band can get me. Did you find it? You looked into the cases and all the compartments there, down to the bottom. I mean, how small. It looks like. Wait a minute now. Why don't we start the vamp? Corey? Okay. Maybe I have it with me. My time riding round on a truck Just seeing what I can pick up Crawling through yards and emptying cans I'm the neighborhood garbage man I'm the neighborhood garbage man I pick it up just as fast as I can I'm the neighborhood garbage man I pick it up just as fast as I can In 
In the summer, when the weather's hot, I'm out to show the ladies just what I got. Wearing pants that barely cover my can. I'm the neighborhood garbage man. I'm the neighborhood garbage man. I pick it up just as fast as I can. I'm the neighborhood garbage man. I pick it up just as fast as I can. People think I'm crazy And they call me lazy And they laugh about me But you know you can't do without me I'm the neighborhood garbage man Munchie Friends, I want to tell you that the best place to be a garbage man in the whole United States is New Hope, Pennsylvania. Because in New Hope, a lot of folks aren't married. See, they live with a partner of preferred genders. And there's something about the air of New Hope that just breeds promiscuity. I don't know what it is, but I don't care how long a couple's been together in any other part of the world. Within a few months after moving to the New Hope area, somebody gets itchy to mess around. And when they do, they walk out, they go into town looking for somebody to mess around with, and the one back at home waits, and waits, and waits. And finally at five o'clock in the morning, the one at home is so upset that they get really mad and they say, Rrr! and they take all the guys or the woman's stuff, all the CDs, all the stereo gear, the clothes, the furniture, the electronics, computers, and they put it all out on the curb. Well, about 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning, along comes the garbage man. Garbage man knows what that stuff is worth. I mean, friends, haven't you ever wondered why there are 15 flea markets within a four-mile radius of New Hope? Haven't you ever wondered where they get the stuff? One, two, three, four. But in the summer and in the fall, you never think much about me at all. But in the winter when the snow's on the ground, you're awful glad that I'm coming around now. I'm the neighborhood garbage man. I pick it up just as fast as I can. I'm the neighborhood garbage man. I pick it up just as fast as I can. Ba da 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 ba ba da 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 da. Personal powder blue, too. Aww. 
You know, the funny thing is I found uh, a, a note this morning, I think an email from, uh, from your uh, revered leader here saying bring a kazoo or a jews harp. And I have a great jews harp, but it's the kind that is so powerful that one miscue and I would break my tooth in, oh. in <laughs> half. And I wasn't about to do that. You know, I thought, I've never had the nerve to play one. Oh, you got to be careful. Really do. You know, if your mouth is a little askew, as mine often is, <laughs> <laughs> askewed up, as a matter of fact, um, yeah, then you can really uh, crack your tooth. You don't want to do that. You know? The you other night. Watch, uh, late, late, will you ever watch late night TV infomercials? Oh, often, yeah. Well, I mean, the old days they had much more interesting infomercials. Yeah. Courtney's going to tell you. I remember oh, you, you know about those things? Oh, sure. I mean, I was watching, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning, and you know how you get boopy at 3 o'clock in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure. watching, and it, it's like, and this guy goes like this, Hey, remember me? I'm Giuseppe Grabio Gonads. And a long time ago, I had a big hit that went like this. Shut up! <laughs> where did all them good times go? I'll tell you where they are. They're right here on this beautiful two album set called Italian Love Songs in Italy, featuring great songs like Butu Sabadons, who sings When the Moon Hits Your Eye Like a Big Pizza Pie. That's right, and if you act right now, free for only, not only are you going to get these beautiful, beautiful albums for only six bucks, but along with it for free, you're going to get this gorgeous album called Italian Love Songs of Venice. Look at the wonderful cover. You got the moon shining down on the water. You got the guy with the gondola with the striped shirt, and he's going, he's rolling the boat. You know, he goes, Non de mente care scungili cale mare siti al dente. While the people mess around on the bottom of the boat. You know? And it's, and it's right. And if you act right now, the first 200 people who call will get the two Italian love songs of Italy. They get the Italian love songs of Venice. They also get a beautiful five foot by seven foot black velvet painting of the cover of Italian love songs of Venice. <laughs> now look, this offer ain't available in the stores. You can't get it from the stores. You gotta come to us. Everybody's, Everybody's gotta, gotta come, come to us. us. <laughs> so call this number. Due una cinque. Cinque, 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 quattro, tre, quattro, tre. You can get yours now. And the first 50 people who call are gonna get a very rare recording of Filomena Barcelona Bacigatonda who's gonna <laughs> sing... Alfredo, one, two, three, four. My boy Alfredo's got brains like potatoes, but his body is the genius of love. When he comes to my house, he asks me no questions. He knows just where his affection He turns my nights into a raging fire Nothing in this world can take me higher Then I'll pray to In the book of love When he comes to my house He's always so kooky He knows just where To bring me a tooky He turns my nights Into a raging fire you do, Alfredo, Alfredo, ooh, ooh, ooh. 
get to know you just a little bit better yourself. Oh, I said, oh, pray, oh, pray, oh, what you do. <laughs> I can't believe that. Um, how many times has the, the, this 88.5 XPN audience heard Alfredo in the last month or so? I don't know. At least three times, right? Oh, not wow. enough. Maybe not <laughs> enough time. Yeah, that's it. Not enough, right? It's definitely a favorite of all of our fans. And mine. Thank yeah. you. From the way back. In fact, I remember actually trying to remember the words. And I think I had to call Tony and say, how does that go again? <laughs> <laughs> but he refreshed me. Yeah, I sure did. That's great. And they sound great with the new band, too. Thank you. Thank you. That was uh, Arlen Walters on I, the lead I know vocal. Arlen and for great oh, voices, thank you. too. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. And, yeah, why uh, don't you ever just do the round robin here and introduce everybody? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. The, the, the new members of the band include uh, Ray Cardona on drums and vocals. Ray! Baby! And he's going to sing the next song, as a matter of fact. Yeah. And uh, Ron Ward on bass and vocal. Ron, Yay. hey Ron, thank you very much. And uh, let's see, Ray's been playing with lots of different. T who who have you been playing with in 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 the area? <laughs> Name some <laughs> somebody, anybody. Uh, she told me she made me promise not to. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Ron plays with not Lenny the Lenny and the Soul Senders, right? right? Okay. Yeah. And Arlen plays with the Dukes of Destiny. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know them. Who will right. be playing at World Cafe Live on New Year's Eve? Ah, oh, they're good guys. Really? Yeah. Yes. Cool. Yeah. I used and to MC their shows. I think years ago. I think they they need an opening act that can sing Jewish. <laughs> think so. Well, we know we know who could apply for that. <laughs> and Courtney plays with anybody with a PayPal card. <laughs> <laughs> I take well, cash too. <laughs> good for you. Tony Juliana, by the way, is. Leader for hire. Yes, he is. Leader for hire. Leaders don't get hired. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They have to find their own way. That's right. That's right. Uh, let's see. What did I want to? What did I want to tell you about? I want to tell you about the benefit uh, CD that's coming out uh, okay. shortly, going on as we speak. Do they have it queued up so we could play a track from? I'm them? not sure, but if not, it can be done in a matter of seconds. Okay. Jessica's. Uh, now, the CD was handed to me. Right, because the actual finished product the, is a compilation of our song as well as a bunch of other songs from local Bucks County artists. Hmm. So how do we differentiate here? Um, all I can tell you is that we were approached uh, by a, um, a friend, a mutual friend mm -hmm. uh, of... A fellow uh, your listeners may have heard of, Lon Van Eaton. Now, Lon and his brother, Derek Van Eaton, back in the 60s, were originally from Jersey, and they had the chutzpah to approach the Beatles and ask to be considered for their new Apple label. George Harrison loved the song they played, and he signed them to Apple. And they had a few albums, and they went on to careers uh, hooked up with some of the best people in the business. So now Lon, who was working in Colorado for a while, has moved to New Hope, where he has a home studio. And he's put together this latest of several benefit packages. So this is benefiting the homeless. It's going to be all holiday songs by <laughs> local artists, and they chose us to be one of them. So the song that we have for you tonight that we brought on CD was recorded live at our last uh, gig a couple weeks ago at Puck in Doylestown. So you mean it's new as opposed, I mean, and, and no one has heard it? No one has this heard form? this. This is the world premiere <laughs> of this recording. Uh -huh. It has never been heard outside of produced my by living the, room. Produced by the Von Eatons. No, no, no. no. Produced by us. It was produced, oh, produced by us by you. and mixed by our great friend Joey Stout, who was our okay. illustrious sound man, and who actually brought us together with Arlen. The plot thickens. <laughs> and uh, Joey also benefited his time in uh, in doing the post production and mix for this. And then where where do people get in touch? They go to this. With this. Album. They go to this website. Hold on. Let me make sure I read it correctly. It's called. 
imagineabetterworld.com. Imagineabetterworld.com. And there you will find uh, Lon Van Eaton's website, and you click on CD releases, and there you will find it listed along with a couple other CDs that he has released. Relatively easy. Yeah. <laughs> if you remember all that. Right. And I think I will. Imagine a better world. Imagine a better world dot com. Yeah. yeah. Right. Great idea. Mm -hmm. You want to hear it? Go ahead and play. All right. It. It's Jessica. called Santa Claus is back in town. All right. <laughs> Good thinking. <laughs> Well, maybe it's the imaginary Santa Claus is back in town <laughs> right now. You sure? There's nothing on there. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, well, uh, you'll we have tried. to take our word for it. <laughs> um, it's a great. It's a great song that was written by Lieber and Stoller, and uh, it was originally released in 1957 as the lead track of the Elvis Christmas album, Whew. which, in researching this, I learned is the biggest selling holiday Christmas album of all time in the United States. And this was the first track. Hey, what about Rudolph the Red Dead's with Gene Autry? <laughs> Beat Gene Autry. <laughs> Beat Gene's album. No kidding. Beat Bing Crosby's album. By a, ho by a horse's nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can move on to the other song okay. that we were going to play live. Okay. Okay? And this features our drummer on lead vocal. Oh, yeah. Ray of Cardona.
impressive. <laughs> really. <laughs> what a nice song. What a nice voice, Ron. Yeah, right. yeah. Thank, you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Well, we got a couple of bonuses when these people joined the band because when we, when our friend Joey introduced us to Arlen, right, by way of a video on YouTube, he oh. said, "Go look at this." <laughs> I looked at it, and in 20 seconds, I knew she was it. <laughs> and what we didn't know when we had Arlen join, we thought we were going to get a great singer. We didn't know she was also going to turn out to be the keyboard player for the band, and she also plays guitar. <laughs> And percussion, she and she does uh, voices. <laughs> yes, she has a she has a degree in theater. How about that? And uh, and and, precious, and Ron comes degree. along on the bass, and he has a degree from Berkeley School of Music in Boston. And Ron, we didn't just get a good drummer, a great drummer who can play great in all genres, but we got a guy who's as good a lead singer as any of us. So it's tremendous. And the harmonies are sounding fantastic. A lot of bonuses there. Yeah, yeah. My goodness. Great. And what do you do with Courtney? <laughs> 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 the best you can. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Courtney. I know. Courtney's my oldest friend from that band, your band, you know? Actually, your oldest friend is my wife. That's your right. Isn't that a very interesting story? <laughs> Diane, the beautiful woman behind me here. Where is she? Well, there are a number of beautiful women here, but the blonde lady... Uh, at one time, I managed her when she was a uh, fledgling singer-songwriter and waitress at one of our most promising clubs. In fact, the club where everybody played from Taj Mahal to, oh my gosh, I, don't, I can't think, think of all the people that have made music there um, over the years. We're but talking that, the Second Fred the or second the Gilded Cage or both? No, right? Second Fred. Right. Second Fred. Yeah. yeah, great. That's where Joni Mitchell uh, did like her a lot of early stuff and... Used to hang out there all the time. So you were managing Diane and booking her back around 61, 62? Something like that, something right? Like before that. I met my wife. Right. And before you met your wife. And, and I met you, like, <laughs> and I met you more than 10 years after that. We should have married. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we could have saved on, uh, you know, uh, uh, kids. Shaving blades, you know, all those stuff. <laughs> By the way, Diane brought you a, a, a little treat tonight. She, oh. brought, she brought you some more of her homemade soup. I heard. Yeah. She makes the greatest. <laughs> Green soup, <laughs> right? What was that stuff? I would have loved it. It was like Thai mushroom. Thai mushroom soup. Ooh. I didn't, yeah. didn't even know that Thais had mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Let alone soup. I knew they had but lemongrass, but not mushrooms. Lemongrass, yes, absolutely. Man. Yeah. Man. But, you know, <laughs> this world is, is made to learn. We all learn new things. And it's great. And music? It's just waiting for us. Have any, have any music? Tropicality, you know I love you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I really, really do. Call me a fool, but I'm living out my dream with my Tropicality jewel. In the cool Caribbean. Do, 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 do. 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 Well, I was feeling kind of fed up, low down and mean Figured I'd had enough, I saw the change of scene I sold all my belongings, put my money in my shoe Put my thumb out on the highway and set out for something new Woo! Found myself in Florida, a place I'd never been Gazed upon a palm tree, a sight I'd never seen I figured this was far out, but I needed something farther I signed aboard a sailing ship and said goodbye to Florida Woo! <laughs> Found a tiny island in the middle of the sea Where the people take the time and move slowly As I shuffled down the street, sucking on a mandolin Place the people called the turtle in. She was standing in the doorway. I was standing on a cloud. Then I turned and ran away. She must have spoken too loud. Chased her down the mountain to a sandy beach below. I kissed her there, and that is where we built our bungalow. Tropicali Jewel, oh, I love you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I really, really do. 
Call me a fool, but I'm living out my dream with my tropicala jewel in the cool Caribbean. Well, we got sunshine in the daytime. We got moonshine at night. I'm a mellow fellow all the time. No need for bustling the fights. My tropical paradise Never kisses me once And she always kisses me twice Baby, she treat me so nice There's something by the sea That makes you feel free There's something in the air so that I don't care I mean, we got bananas for breakfast Lobster for lunch Nothing to perplex us No energy crunch Seas by seashore Sugar taking good care of A city boy thanking the stars up above So if you find your tiny island In the middle of the sea Kiss the ladies all twice And say aloha for me Tropicana Jumo oh, I love you Yes, I do, yes, I do, yes, I really, really do. Call me a fool, but I'm living out my dream with my tropicality jewel in the cool Caribbean. to tell the audience that when we were rehearsing this, Gene uh -huh. thought that we were singing Tropicali Jew. <laughs> no, no, Tropicali, <laughs> Tropicana Jew. Tropicana Jew. Oh, I love you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I really, really do. <laughs> but to clarify, the title is Tropicali Jewel. We're going to have to work on that. Right. <laughs> Jewel, right, yeah. Well, it's like Orange Julius. Yes. Remember that? Sure. Yeah, it was good. California drink, really. Well, that was great. I used to go into in, in Manhattan. They used to have it. That's right. At, that was at the uh, hot dog stand. Yes, and it was the flavor of um, it's creamsicles. Le yeah, it's lecithin. That's the what's a powder that they put. Lecithin. Oh, okay. I figured it out one day. That's <laughs> that powder that they put in the orange juice to make it taste so good, and it's actually healthy for you. Uh huh. Anyway, that Tropicali you song you and yeah. Courtney's garbage song from earlier on right. that we did with where you played the kazoo. Right. Those are examples of what we're trying to do lately, and that is to freshen up the whole show a bit. So when people come out to see us now, half the songs we do will be from the old days of the band. You know, So you will hear your favorites like Alfredo and so mm -hmm. forth. But the other half are newer, things that we have created since then. And Tropicali Jewel and Garbage Man are examples of that. Yeah. Lose my... Uh, oh, oh, there you go. It. There it is. Still got it? Yeah. I just wanted to say creativity <laughs> happening all the time with this band, Johnny's <laughs> Dance Band. I'm sorry that that uh, CD didn't work. We could actually play that song. I was going to say, why don't we just do it? The one that was on the CD. Do, do you remember it? Sure. 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 Well, let's oh, see. Let's, we got some time. What the heck? You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, this is the one that's on the uh, benefit. Right. I mean, this is, a, it's, you know, why not? This is a benefit song. This is the one that's on the benefit uh, CD, once again. Uh, and that CD is going to be called Christmas Time is, Has Come to Town. Christmas Time Has Come to Town. And it's uh, being uh, distributed by Lon Van Eaton's company. Uh, mm -hmm. Lon Van Eaton, formerly of Apple Records with the Beatles. And um, if you want to get a copy of it, you go online to imaginabetterworld.com and click on the uh, CD releases and you'll find it there. 
Before we get into that, Tony, let me just identify the station. Do you mm -hmm. want to do that? Do we have anything else to take care of? No, just uh, an ID, right? An ID. That means we're going to hear the lovely voice of my friend, Michaela. This is WXPN 88.5 HD Philadelphia, WXPH 88.7 HD Middletown, and WKHS 90.5 Wharton. <laughs> Member-supported radio from the University of Pennsylvania. Thank you. She sounds that was great. Michaela. She sure does. I don't mean to put down Roger. He's my boss. <laughs> that was the last thing I would do. <laughs> This is 88.5 XP, and this is the folk show Gene Shea here every Sunday night, and this is my second return night. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. only uh, two Sundays that I haven't been here for a long while, and now, and now I'm back, and I'm pretty much feeling like you look normal, like the old days. You sound normal with old friends. That makes it very comfy. Yeah, and I want to thank you. So let's wind up with this song here. Um, it's a holiday song. It's not our original song, it's written by Lieber and Stoller. But uh, we've always loved it. Sure. At holiday time. Christmas. 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 Well, it's Christmas time. No sleigh with reindeer, no sack on my back. You're gonna see me coming in a big black Cadillac. Well, it's Christmas time, pretty baby, and the snow is falling down. Well, you be real good, little girl. Santa Claus is back in town. Stocking and turn out the light. Santa Claus is coming down your chimney tonight. Christmas time, put it baby. And the snow is falling down. Lieber and Stoller guys. Oh, they were amazing. They were amazing. Yeah. I got to see going to Kansas City. Yeah. I got to see and them. Hound Dog. Hound Dog. Right, right, right. I thought Hound Dog was written by. That was uh, Big Mama Thornton. Lieber and no, Big Mama Thornton, right? Yeah. Who am I confusing yeah, with? Lieber, Lieber and Stoller wrote that. Who was the? Who was the uh, well, Lieber and Stoller wrote the flip side, which was Don't Be Cruel. Is that what it was? Did really? They wrote Don't Be Cruel, the flip side of Hound Dog. No, but wow. who's the guy named uh, the, the guy, the big guy, and his mo mother wrote these songs? Do you remember who I'm talking about? No. no. Anybody know him? Sounds familiar. I'll think. Uh, we'll I'll probably think, think about it right after, after we leave the air. Why, why is his name Lloyd? No, it wasn't Lloyd. Mm -hmm. Never mind. 
<laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Thank you, Jilda. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Friday <laughs> night. Friday night. This Friday night, Johnny's Dance Band with Mojo Stew at the Flash, Kenneth Square. We cannot forget that, Tony. Thank you. It's indelibly etched. <laughs> 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 Visit our in website. In my forehead. <laughs> and I should not forget the people who make this possible. Aside from uh, Jessica Mandick and uh, well, Tim's not here, right? Ian Zolotar over there, my assistant. We have the expert audio work of Adam Staniszewski, better known as Adam Stan. Jeff Lucci over there. Do we get them all in? I think we did. Ian? The whole crew. Ian? Did we we got a great crew here. And did I mention uh, Ian? I mentioned Ian, didn't I? Yeah. Yes, yes, you did. How can you forget a name like Ian Zolotar? That's like, <laughs> it's got I's, it's got A's, it's got Z's, you know. <laughs> it's got <laughs> Name's got everything in there. <laughs> He's a big guy, too, so he can handle a name like that. <laughs> and anyway. I want to thank Eugene, and I want to be probably about the 10,000th person to pay tribute to you for the wonderful honor. Courtney and I went down to see that ceremony down on Broad Street when you received oh. your uh, plaque in the sidewalk, which is very much deserved. And so many of us in the music thank you. industry in this area have benefited from all the wonderful things you've done, and we can never thank you enough for the rest of your life. <laughs> 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 all right. I hope there is a little bit more than the, in the rest of my life, and thank you very much. And Sean. beyond, because it's in the sidewalk. That's right. So your grandchildren and will go And people, there. they'll go there and they'll wipe their feet there and everybody will be happy. <laughs> this is ADA 5 XPM. We have another 40-some uh, minutes of recorded music. And some of it, by the way, is Stan Rogers songs. Really interesting versions of it. So uh, let's get back to the Folk Show, 88.5 XBN. I'm Gene Shea, and thanks all for listening. We're here with folk music every Sunday, starting at 8 and going to 11 o'clock. And heaven knows what we're going to have on next week, but it's always somebody pretty cool. Like... Johnny's dance band. Thank oh, you. thanks. Thank you. Coming thanks to the you. flash. Thank coming you. to the flash. <laughs> All right. Uh, how do we gracefully get out of here? We did a station ID. Why don't we just go to a piece of music, huh? Good idea. Is this Stan Rogers? I'm not sure about that. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I'll do it a proper introduction here. Uh, no, this is Amy Spies, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, I know who this is. Peter Himmelman. Right? No. no. It's, this is no. a well-oiled machine. <laughs> I know. John Roberts, Tony Barrett? Yes. Yeah. Okay, this is one of my favorite British Isles folk songs. I remember this thing from singing at summer camp, and I never knew what it was about. But it has some religious and some certainly some Christmas connotations that come from Great Britain. So check it out. John Roberts, Tony Barron on 88.5 XPN. So I'll sing you one o. Oh. Green grow the rushes oh. What is your one o? Oh? One is one and all alone and ever.